the leaves, I mean the branches all bent with ice and snow. Yeah. And the snow all on them. It was like driving through this tunnel. I wish, you know, I, yeah, I wish I'd had a camera. It's kind of amazing. I mean, I've been thinking about that going to work. You know, the I, I'm, branches are just like hung over. Yeah, I'm still driving under trees that are hanging over the road. I was watching a, a big log truck go up the road and of course they're very big and every time he would go under one of those trees he'd he'd shake off a bunch of ice and it would all fall down the road in front of me and I was thinking well that's yeah. I don't know something kind of well that's what Heidi and I were saying the other day too when we were driving up you know we wonder if the snow because it was so light the snow we got the other night whether it actually would have stuck to the branches oh, yeah. like it has if it weren't for the ice there right you know and it's just like the snow is everywhere it's, it's really stuck. pretty that's what I was oh. saying about that Christmas tree while I go up in the common yeah, I think the snow is maybe that's why the snow is stuck to it the way it is yeah is because of the ice. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm going out to barbecue again. Alright, right, I'm going to make butter. I'm going to start the grill. And, uh... I'm try to start the grill. For our weekly barbecue extravaganza. <laughs> oh, the joy. <clears throat> Not too bad out here tonight, temperature-wise, I mean. Probably ain't the best camera for this. The other camera might be better. Uh, the other day I showed you our Christmas tree. Well, our Christmas tree is all frozen now, and it's not working anymore. I think uh, Honey Baby said it probably wasn't designed to stand up to the weather, which is kind of a shame because I'm not sure why they sell an outdoor Christmas tree if it won't stand up to the weather. But it's a frozen, and it's not working anymore. But the icicles are awful pretty. And we're doing our little uh, weekly cookout. Would you like to talk about that on video to the whole world? Well, our composter is like frozen shut. It's been frozen shut for a while. And so what do you do with all the stuff that you usually compost? Well, the compost thing is full. So it's still sitting there. It's got a cover on it, but it's still full. Yeah. And so all the stuff is kind of gone in the trash. It goes in the freezer in a bag. And do we decide if we can get the compost to run down? Well, take that cover off that container. I'm a little bit afraid to do it. growing. I'm afraid of the smell. Oh, no, it doesn't smell. It's yeah. just fuzzy. It's just fuzzy? It's fuzzy. You want to show me? Well, I can't. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't. I got blood over my okay. hand. Okay. Well, in my case. Well, I'll put it well. Oh, my goodness. It is growing. <laughs> it's like a lab project. Yeah. It's penicillin. Look at that. We could eat some of that and we wouldn't get the flu. <laughs> That's what my mama used to say. She'd say, eat it, it's good for you. That's what they make penicillin out of. Anybody hungry? Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Yeah, it is growing. Well, you know, if it wasn't if, if it wasn't that we had so much ice and snow, I'd probably go out there and try to beat the ice off the yeah, thing. You but said you would. I'd said I was going to do that, and then we got another half inch of ice on top of that, and it's like, eh, I don't know if I can or not. Yeah, you know, stuff might go in the freezer and well it doesn't even need to go in the freezer. All it needs to do is go out the trash. It's cold enough, it's not gonna smell anywhere. That's true. No animals are coming in to get it. Doesn't no. matter where we put it. All the raccoons <laughs> just froze up. <laughs> Throw it out on the ground, let the animals eat it. That's right. <laughs>